Hi, and welcome to the Mathly YouTube channel. The following video was recorded by one of our staff members live at one of our contests. Hello, this is Taiki, and I'm one of the interns at Mathly. And today I'm going to be going over a Team Realm problem. Uh, Will has a special deck of 59 cards. Each of the numbers from 1 through 59 appears on exactly one of the cards. Will sorted all of the cards into separate groups, and no group of cards had two cards that summed to a multiple of 10. What is the fewest number of groups of cards that Will could have? So I think what we should do to begin is find numbers that actually sum to 10, and in particular, numbers with the same remainder when divide by 10. What I'm talking about is numbers with units digit zero or five, because any two of those numbers will sum to a multiple of 10. So we wanna take care of that first. In particular, the numbers with the unit digit of five can be five, 15, 25, and so on up to 55, of which there are six numbers because the tens digit goes from zero to five. As for the numbers which end in a zero, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, all the way up to 50, of which there are five numbers. We can see that because we have tens digit one through five inclusive. After that, we see that since there's six numbers here in this list and five numbers in this list, we need at least six groups because if any two of these numbers are in the same group or rather if there are fewer than six groups say there are five then by pigeonhole principle two of numbers must be in the same group which is bad since they would sum to a multiple of 10 so we need at least six groups so from here we can put the multiple or numbers with the units digit of five into each one of the groups, etc. And then same goes for the multiples of 10, which we can put into different groups. And finally, for all of the numbers with units digits one, two, three, four, and six, seven, eight, nine, uh, we can do from here is put the, digits or numbers with units digit one through four in the same group because then no two of them should add to a multiple of 10. So we can put all the one through fours numbers here. You can see that they won't add to multiple of 10 if you take any two of them. And similarly, six through nine, we can put all of the numbers into a different group. So we haven't made any more groups and we need at least six groups. So the answer is six groups of cards. Hi everybody, this is Tim. Hope you're enjoying our videos. If so, you know what to do, like, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that sort of thing. But what I'd really want to invite you to do is to send us an email at media at mathleague.org. Tell us which problems you'd like to see us cover next in our video series. Take care and see you in the next video.